You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Subscribe to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings. Uh, the first episode was uh <laughs> was received quite well, so I'm gonna keep going on. Guys, please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes, and let's date some friggin' hot dragons. Uh, some of these look like raptors. All right, guys, let's jump right back in. Alarm chain, you're up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Which one is Reza? Is she Reza? Reza, okay. That's great. I'll take it. Looks a little small, if you ask me. Don't underestimate its power. Oh, and do be careful not to drop it. You sure? Wait. Anna. That's Anna. That's Reza. Okay. Uh, sure. I I'll be waiting outside while you do your thing, Keegan. I suppose I'll wait for you outside as well. Wait. Yes! Okay, he's Reza. That's Sebastian. Okay, I was getting them mixed up. Okay. Sure, I'll be waiting outside while you do your thing, Keegan. I suppose I'll wait for you outside as well. Oh, uh, what thing? Oh, have you brought the PDA? Of course, there you go. Alright, now to give this thing a test, a test run. The PDA lit up as her hand swiftly moved around its interface in calculated motions. By the way, would you consider letting me run some tests on you as well? It would only take a drop of your blood. What? Why? I work in biology, so obviously this kind of thing would be very interesting to us. I'd share the results with you, of course. Sure, why not? Great! She was quick to produce a small device from a drawer, which from a glance reminded me of a lot, a lot of a test tube. Now, if you would give me your hand, please. What's that? Why are you blushing? That's not something to be blushing at. Why would you blush at taking someone's blood? Are you a vampire? Mm hmm? As I reached out to her, she took my hand into hers before she pressed the device into the back of my hand. I winced as pain jolted through my hand. Something sharp drove itself through my skin, and shortly afterwards, a droplet of blood was sucked into the tube attached to the small needle. Thanks. Uh, you're welcome. You gave Anna your blood. Blood donation achievement unlocked. Looks like your PDA is good. By the way, so we're just about done here. And since we're both in biology, it could be interesting if you want to meet me some uh, some other time as well. Here's my number. All right. Oh, see you soon. I know that face. Well, that was uh <clears throat> interesting. Did you ask you for your blood too? Yeah. Did you give it to her? Yes. Oh, well, it's your choice. You've got no idea what they might do. What they might do with it though. I'm getting hungry. How about some breakfast? Interesting that you could lie to him right there, huh? I'm all for it. I can't stand early mornings like this. That shouldn't be a problem. There's a cafe not far from here. Well, what do you say, Mavers? I wouldn't mind grab a bite myself. That settles it, then. Oh. Nice cafe. Oh, that's pretty. Luckily for us, the cafe was mostly empty when we arrived, as it was all still pretty early in the day. Reza was quick to lead me to a table for two, prompting the dragons to get one of their own on the other side of the restaurant. Yeah, finally. I can't stand that guy being on my tail all the time. Maybe he just likes you a lot. Yeah, <laughs> like how he smiled after that. Let's see. They say it's for our own security. I'm very much aware of what that is what they're saying. Let's see. It does seem rather strange that they need someone following us everywhere. Yeah, I'm not buying their stick about how it's to keep us safe. Alright, so I'm gonna go with this one. Yep. We were approached by an individual who appeared to be the waitress at the cafe. She was an interesting looking dragon who, unlike the others had, I had seen so far, was more akin to a, a wyvern. 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 Whatever. How you, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's, I think, I've heard people say wyvern. I've heard people say wyvern. I'll say wyvern. Like my wise. We like our wise here on Drake Wing Gaming, y'all. Possessing two rather large wings as her forelimbs, which resembled nodes of an oversized bat. Oh, ooh, she's pretty too. Those are the goggles. Uh, I guess if you're flying, yeah. Oh, it's the humans! You're able to correctly identify your species based on what we look like? Congra what we look like. Congratulations! <laughs> That's a good one. Let me see. I want to try all these. Wait, where? That's it. <laughs> Okay, not much of a difference there. Oh, it's a dragon! That's a good one. I'll go with that one. That's funny. Welcome to our establishment. My name's Aideen, and I'll be your waitress today. What can I bring you to? Uh, 
Uh, just coffee for me. I don't, I don't try everything. Yeah, me too. Just make it quick. Sure thing. Two coffees coming right up. How about some scrambled eggs with bacon? Yeah, me too. Just make it quick. Oh, what, what, what will she say? Oh, there's bacon coming right up. Okay. Today's special. Yeah, me too. Just make it quick. Sure thing. Two specials coming right up. Uh, pro tip for anyone ever ordering from a restaurant. You don't get specials. Typically, specials are older food that they're trying to push out before it goes bad. Just, that's why it's cheaper, and that's why it's special. Because it's almost at the point where it's not ripe. <laughs> As I was saying, if you look at the big picture, don't you think there's just something off about this whole place? Where is it, really? Is this supposed to be a completely separate place from Earth, or even a different dimension? Some things just don't add up. Don't you think so, too? Yeah, I'm not... Okay, I'm not so, I'm not sure. I can't really say much more with you-know-who over there. He's probably listening to us right now. Let's see. Yeah, I've noticed it, too. Now, let me just grab my tinfoil hat real quick. I've been here much longer than you have been. Maybe you'll see soon. Maybe you'll see soon enough. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, he's a charming fellow. When I let my gaze wander, I saw that Maverick was looking in my direction. Our eyes met briefly, his expression not showing any discernible emotion. Well, I wondered whether it had just been a coincidence or if he was really able to hear us from this distance. I do have some theories, and if I'm right, we might be in trouble. Uh-oh. That's not good. Maverick. Creep. Oh, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, he's a charming fellow. Okay. Um, what kind of trouble? What are you talking about? Shh, be quiet. I'll let you know more as soon as I can, but for now, let's just say, let's just play along. After all, we already have one of these babies. He patted the generator box for emphasis. God knows we need them. Oh, there she comes. The female returned, astounding me with her ability to balance the dishes on the edges of her wings. She placed her forelimb on the table and proceeded to move the dishes from her wing to us with a gentle push of her snout. There you go. Watch out, it's hot. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh. Aw. Uh, That's so mean. No. Say nothing. Oh no. Thanks. I'm proper. You're welcome. Apparently today's special consisted of an odd-looking fish of some sort. I was hesitant to try it, but considering considering the uh one second, there's a thing there's a hair in my eye. Is there a hair in my eye? You're gonna get you're gonna get fucked hair. I'm gonna fuck you up, hair. But considering the steam was the steam coming from it, it was probably better to wait a few minutes anyway. When the waitress brought our out brought out the meals, two of the two the to the two dragons across the cafe and exchanged a few words with him, Reza leaned forward and whispered something to me. I'll send you a letter with a coded message later. You'll know what to do. Rizzo rose from his seat before he made it known to me that he had still a few things to do and left the restaurant, followed shortly after by the larger of the two dragons. But you haven't even touched your fish! I wasn't in a hurry, so I spent a few more minutes in contemplation while I looked out the window. I thought this whole situation was already bizarre enough, there was also now this vague sense of danger conveyed by Reza's earlier words. I did not even have an idea what kind of threat might be lurking out there. Yeah... Eventually, I took a bite of my somewhat unusual breakfast. I already thought the smell was quite peculiar. The taste had been even worse. I imagined it might be the kind of delicacy that had, that had an acquired taste. One that I certainly hadn't acquired yet. One that I certainly hadn't acquired yet. I decided to get out to get outside before it was too late. Are you done? Sure am. How'd you like it? I'll just say it's probably not for me. And you wouldn't be the only one to say that. You better wait outside just in case it decides to come up again. You tried the odd-looking fish. Bravery. Sure thing. I stepped outside, taking the scenery of this strangely familiar world. In the short time I was here, I had already found the similarities between their world and our and our own utterly fascinating. After all, we were talking about an unmapped place with a never-before-seen form of life. As far as discoveries were concerned, even something as simple as a new unicellular organism or even bacteria would have been remarkable. Yet here I was, standing in the middle of a village evidently built by this race of intelligent talking dragons with a society none unlike our own. Reza didn't seem to share the same interest and instead was more smitten with the generator. But given our reasons for coming here in the first place, I couldn't blame him for his enthusiasm being focused on something else. 
My thoughts were interrupted, but something suddenly zipped past me, just a little too close, causing me to stumble back. It was a rather small dragon with a bag clamped, clam, clamped in its maw, who apparently had somewhere to be. Oh, she's pretty! Or, he's pretty, I don't know. Male dragons can be paint. I regained my footing and watched as it disappeared into the distance. Even though I've seen enough dragons to recognize their variations in size, color, and other at attributes, I guess this one must have been a juvenile of its species. Shortly afterwards, Sebastian joined me outside, having taken care of the tab. I gave her a generous tip on your behalf. Hope you don't mind. Uh, of course not, as long as I don't have to pay the bill. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, that's an asshole thing to say. Actually, I do. Why's that? The whole thing there where she lost it because we were humans. How unprofessional. Besides, I don't believe in tipping. Well, too late for that now. God, what? It? No, Nick Keegan, you're not going to be an asshole. Uh, wait, what? No. No! No, I don't want that option! Damn it, game! What is this? Okay, let's try this again. Game, you better not. You better not, game. Don't you dare lock that choice in. I will fucking load, okay? Okay. What is wrong with you, game? No, okay. Uh, we're going to load real quick because that was awful. And are you sure you want to do this? Yes. We'll just go back just a teeny little bit. Okay. I don't... God, I hope choices are not binding. Oh my god. I want to just explore different dialogue choices, you know? Great. Better not be. Okay. There we go. Alright. So, how nice of you. In any case, now that you've given us the PDA and Reza has the generator, you're free for today. So if you want to go anywhere in particular, let me know or I could show you around town. So I need to save before conversations. I was tempted to be given a tour, but considering Reza's words, I wanted to be careful not stray, not stray too far without knowing more about this world first. I think I'll stay home for today. I still have to get used to everything, you know? I'll just accompany you back then. There we are. Home sweet home, for now at least. Well, if you need anything, I'll be outside until my shift ends. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. See you tomorrow. See ya. See ya. <laughs> I hadn't really looked at the apartment much, so I spent the rest of the day investigating and relaxing. I considered checking out some of the phone numbers Remy had left me, but I thought it was better to keep a low profile for now. I found the kitchen fully stocked with plenty of groceries, though the variety was wasted on me. I hadn't been a particularly great cook in the first place, but what was more, I didn't even recognize some of the things I found there. Whether they were edibles that, had, that we had back home that I just didn't know about, or something completely alien, I wasn't sure. But I didn't want to take the risk of eating anything I didn't know. After all, it was possible that some of the some of the comestibles might be fine, or might be fine for them to eat, but still be poisonous to us. I was also glad to find a shelf that was filled to the brim with a variety of books. While I found the subject matter of man, myth, or reality to be quite intriguing. I had to give up after just a few pages due to its exceptionally dry writing style, which I wasn't inclined to enjoy at the moment. In the end, I settled for an adventure novel about a dragon archaeologist who stumbles upon the remains of a long-lost human civilization after which she is hunted by an evil organization who wants to use the found magical artifacts for its own nefarious purposes. While entertaining, I had to admit that it reminded me a little too much of the trashy novels we had at home. I certainly found it amusing that certain tropes were not really unique to us as a species, though I wondered whether this kind of literature had fallen into, dis fallen into disfavor here as it had back, back where I had come from. I was reading a particularly exciting scene in which the hero, Sheridan, uses one of the magical artifacts shaped like a pair of human hands holding a scepter with a globe at the top to prevent herself from being crushed and ground into a bloody pulp by an ancient human temple's moving walls, when I suddenly heard the doorbell ring. Nope. Who could that be? This is good music. Oh, hello there! More cute dragons! Dragon delivery service! Hello there! Would you please sign here? I'm not signing away my rights with this, am I? I've got a letter for you that requires signature confirmation. I see. Looking over the clipboard the small dragon was holding up to me, I saw that the center of the letter in question was Reza. Here you go. I'm Lorem, by the way. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> What's this about? 
I'm just making small talk. Wait a minute. I recognize you. You tried to do the same thing with Reza. Maybe I should report you for your, to your superiors for your inappropriate behavior toward your clients. But it's important. Please just let me talk to Keegan for a few minutes. You know how it is. If you want an interview with one of the humans, you'll have to get permission from the proper authorities. Help me out here, Keegan. As an ambassador, you care about the accurate portrayal of humans in the media, don't you? You should talk to me, otherwise someone else will fill in the blanks and who knows what they'll come up with. Let me show you something. A small dragon opened his bag, rummaging through a number of letters and small packages. Huh, I think I lost it. Anyway, I wanted to show you some pictures of what people think humans look like. On some of them, they have like four heads and look nothing like you. It's crazy. What are you? What are you, Lorma reporter? No, I'm just... Do you want do you want me to remove them, Keegan? Is what he is what he's saying true? Yeah, I guess. I see. Sounds pretty interesting though. Alright, you can leave your number here and maybe I'll call you later, but that's all I can promise. Thank you! Thank you so much! He quickly produced a small sheet of paper and scribbled his number on it. Afterwards he sheepishly presented it with both hands. Alright, you got what you wanted. Now off you go. Man. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot help but laugh at that. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. I guess that should be all. I'll see you tomorrow then. Right. With all the commotion, I almost forgot that I was I was still holding Reza's letter. Within the plain envelope was a similarly plain sheet of paper with his handwriting. When I started reading, however, I saw that his wording was so full of the pleasantries I knew he hated that I assumed every word of it was faked as to conceal its true intent. He didn't mention I'd know what to do, but I was unsure of how I was supposed to decode the letter's secret message. I didn't remember ever having a conversation about this topic with him, but he still relied on me to remember whatever it was that I was missing, or he thought I would just be able to figure it out on my own. And this is what it said. Hello, dear friend. Hope this letter reached you swiftly and in good condition. Unfortunately, we were not able to catch up earlier, so I wanted to write you this letter. How have you been these last few years? What have you been doing? How's the family? I feel like there's so much we should talk about since we have not even seen each other much recently. At least we have a chance to do so in this form. Quite an exciting venture we are on now, right? Have you liked it here so far? Made any dragon friends yet? Ha! <laughs> Anyways, I'll be looking forward to your reply soon. Best regards, Reza. Various things came to mind. Only reading certain words or letters, one was one was one that I thought of immediately, but I couldn't make but I couldn't make anything out after trying to find a system in which within its array of letters and lines. Maybe I had to look more carefully. Oop, let's uh say right here. I want to explore all of my options. Okay. I think I know its meaning. Nope. Alright, guys. Oh, perfect. Alright, already saved it right there. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. If it's super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!